um, here we are. The nat has been finished. My second and last nat kit I think I'm going to be building. The Airfix is most recent tooling of the nat. I did in the red and white scheme from 1970. And uh, to be honest, it was nat by name and irritating thing by nature because oh, paint scheme, you think red and white would be simple but it's not trying to keep the red from bleeding into the white and keep the white white while you're handling it is more trouble than it's worth really um, a nice quality kit for 172 nat which is a small scale as you can see by the size of the pen put next to it they're not big models um, but uh, yeah one or two fitted issues with this I found you know, the wing doesn't always uh, fit easily on in fact if I if you knew where to look you see quite some seat, some uh, line gaps where the wing joins but uh, and because the way the wheels are put on from inside um, from the lack of one or two locating tabs for the wheels um, I think that's a bit of a flaw because you end up with it not being level if, if you were to measure this side against that side this side is higher uh, for for that reason I think it should really be like that but if you don't know you're not going to worry about it so <laughs> let's not be too negative about it um, I don't know if you can see on this view, but uh, the light in the front put on with some white glue uh, sparkles quite well. It's, I'm really pleased with that. Uh, I didn't put all the decals on it because there's a decal here that's smaller than a full stop, or as Americans call a period point, and uh, anything smaller than that, you're going to need to have really good eyesight or a magnifying glass to see. But um, there's a lot to it for its size. And for the value for money, I suppose, if you want to be into all the detail. Um, and there we are, the Nat T Mark I from 1970 era, that version. Um, I did have a problem with the nose wheel. This, uh, this area here snapped off when I pulled it off the sprue, but if I had the right cutters, I suppose it wouldn't do that. So that's partly my fault or something I should know already from making the other nut. Um, nothing much just to say. The decals to put on the aerials was very fiddly and I lost one. And the aerial came off while I was trying to do that too. But uh, it's a challenge. But uh, if you're up to it and you don't mind taking your time, you should enjoy it, I suppose. And there we are. That's my uh, finished kit for this month. I'd hope to do it and finish it in April but uh, various reasons I couldn't but uh, keep positive and, uh, and there we are. That's what you end up with if you <laughs> if you do it as well as well or as bad as I do it. Alright, ta-da, bye.